Today we're going to talk about the 14 earliest signs of nutritional deficiencies. That being said, there are a lot more nutrients, and I have a complete list of all the earliest signs of specific nutrient deficiencies on my website, and I'll put the link down below so you can download when we're done. But today we're going to start with these 14. Starting with vitamin A, what would be the first sign of a vitamin A deficiency? That would be difficulty seeing in the dark, especially if you're driving at night and it's raining and you just have a really hard time seeing in the dark. That is one of the first signs of a vitamin A deficiency. All right, now what about the B complex? Well, I'm only going to talk about B1. Uh, in the complete document, you'll learn about all the B vitamins. But the first sign of a B1 deficiency is nervous tension. You feel this buildup of nervous energy that you're just like, you're agitated. It's kind of like, you could say, a feeling of some stress buildup. And this is why when you take B1, that just goes right away within like two to three minutes. Next one is vitamin C. What would be the first sign of that? That would be a pink toothbrush. So let's say, for example, you're brushing your teeth and you notice there's some slight bleeding, but maybe not bleeding gums, but let's say your gums are a little swollen or red. That's a vitamin C deficiency. And the foods that are highest in vitamin C, raw sauerkraut, bell peppers, berries, lemons, limes. Okay, what about vitamin D? Well, one of the first signs would be bone pain. So you can press on your shins right now or your breastbone. And if there's pain or excessive tenderness, suspect a vitamin D deficiency. One other symptom that I notice is that your lower back is just aching, suspect a vitamin D. Of course, there's a lot of other symptoms for vitamin D, but we're just talking about one of the first signs. All right, what about vitamin E? One of the first signs of a vitamin E deficiency is weakness in your muscles. If you find that you're climbing up the stairs and you're just like, your legs are heavier and your muscles are weaker, or it could be any type of, let's say you're doing weight training and your muscles feel weak, suspect a vitamin E deficiency. All right, what about K1? Well, excessive bruising. Okay, you bruise easily. What about K2? A buildup of tartar is a vitamin K2 deficiency because vitamin K2 keeps the calcium out of the soft tissues of the body. What about calcium? One of the first symptoms of a calcium deficiency is a chronic cough, irritation with your throat. But especially if you have this chronic coughing that just won't go away, um, just take some calcium and watch what happens. What about an iodine deficiency? Well, that can show up in many things, but the first symptom would be breast tenderness. And then that can lead into what's called fibrocystic breast, where you have these little cysts. Just suspect uh, any type of cyst on your body being an iodine deficiency. What about a sodium deficiency? Well, that typically is going to be overall weakness, not necessarily in the muscles, but it could be. But overall, you're just kind of um, feeling weak and you, you lost that get up and go. But this deficiency can also affect your sleep being. But there's other things too, which I'm not going to get into, but um, it's important to have enough salt, especially if you're doing fasting or on the ketogenic diet. Okay, what about magnesium? The first symptom of a magnesium deficiency is a loss of energy. Because of magnesium's connection to making ATP, you just don't make energy anymore, but also uh, leg cramps, okay, especially when you're sleeping. And just since we're talking about magnesium, I'm going to throw one more in there is potassium deficiency. One of the first symptoms to show up with that would be when you go to sleep at night and you hear that pounding in your inner ear on the pillow, very loud, you should never hear. That's a potassium deficiency because you just ate a lot of carbohydrate that locked up your potassium and you're going to hear this, this pulse rate in the inner ear. Just take some potassium and it'll go right away. And also a lack of potassium will start increasing the pulse rate too. So your pulse rate will still go up. All right, the next one is the selenium deficiency. You're going to notice a bit of brain fog, maybe some memory issues, but definitely a negative cognitive effect. And realize selenium can come from a Brazil nut, but you don't need many, you just need one per day. Also from shellfish, seafood, uh, oysters, sea kelp as well, organ meats, red meats, and eggs. But selenium is important in many different things, including uh, making uh, glutathione, which 
helps you detoxify. And then we get to zinc, which is a very important trace mineral involved in so many different things. One of the first signs of a zinc deficiency is you become out of breath when you exert yourself. So let's say you start to exercise and you just don't have the, the strength and the, the get up and go. You need some zinc. Zinc will also create a lot of other issues, especially with lowering of testosterone as well as a lowering of your immune system. Now to get the complete list on a one page document, click the link down below and go to drberg.com.